Hello, 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 everyone. How is everyone doing? We'll be joining game right away, right away. Um, yeah, welcome, welcome again to the um, this Apple's Apple's Valorant Prodigies uh, group stage here. We are starting off our game Valorando versus Fish One Two Three. Uh, these two teams. Well, they're not really going to be competing here for a spot into the uh, the brackets as Fish has pretty much solidified that so far. They are uh, two wins ahead, two to null, while Valorando are trailing behind zero to two. Well, uh, on the other hand, though, uh, we have a little bit of um, a little bit of a tiebreaker. Absolute Legends versus Ford and Bears will be battling it out in the meantime while this game is going along. But already we've got some aggression coming through mid and uh, Fish are looking to make this as aggressive as possible. Let's see if we can get some Valorant, epic Valorant plays here as we push forward already. One man down as they try and get control of the site. Air smoke gone down, blocking the entry from CT. And you already see five members of Fish already on site, just holding strong. This is really not much. It, it is a hard task here for Valorando to come back in this situation, but they're gonna try and make it happen nonetheless. It is the first round. This is the entry they're gonna find. It. Updraft there, coming in through Jet, will that go over the wall? The wall will eventually go down as Link will be the second one to fall onto the site. It's Crits finds one, Ice Pepper Hands finds the return, but it's gonna be a difficult one. Maybe they line up for him, Ice Pepper Hands already with the first one, Link already from the side, but now Braxco together with Sova are gonna try and defend this. Oh, maybe they've uh, got this, the wall comes through, he might stick, but he's looked at the wrong side and that it's Crits will uh, be able to clutch that up. 4k for the man this round and... There you have it. Fish 1, 2, 3. We'll find the first round here of this game. Both of these play these teams play um, last game of this uh, group stage, if you will. Yes, yeah, so far, solid stuff shown from Fish 1, 2, 3 uh, throughout this tournament. They've showed total domination in their group. Haven't, haven't lost... A single match. Let's see. Now maybe because they have less stress under their hands, maybe things could uh, change here from Valorando, but it is looking out likely. I mean, it's the beginning. Anything can literally happen. But we're looking at the top team of the group and supposedly, according to the score, the worst team of the group. Already trying to push through mid. Race could be there to greet them. Uh, the, fight, the kill cut finally comes in. Braxco is the one to collect that up with Brimstone, as he is. But they still are content with con holding control of mid right now. And this actually could be the right move for them, not moving into C. As uh, that movement from Sage had to happen there in order to assist on C, but yeah, they found the entry on uh, on that B site. But this could be a good rotor here. Not much you can do from that range with a shorty, unfortunately for him. And now Link will be the final man to fall here. And I do realize now that I think I have the teams mixed up, so I'm gonna just uh, do a little bit of a switch switcheroo real quick. I do apologize about that. And there we have it. It's, it's fixed now. No worries, no worries. But we're back in it. And it's a full buy from both of these teams. We check the buy. Soulcast already from Long will push up. Gaining some ground here. 
And uh, actually giving a lot of info to his team. They do know that they probably scrambled them among long. So the rotates will come in fast. Soulcast will find another. It's Chris wasn't ready for that one. Rexco will be able to uh, return that one fast. But Eklis now from spawn. Will they expect this angle? It is a little bit unorthodox. Oh, yes. The info play. Oh, he's not going to connect with the spray straight away. But it will end up getting the kill. Oh, they are able to collect up. Cypher there. From long. Already on site. Already the defenders are in a place to, to hold the site. Three players dedicated towards A. Locker is uh, lurking here as they have 13 seconds remaining. He will get picked up by Link, and this probably will be the safe here from Rexford. Not really much he can do. Maybe try and do some damage to Link, but won't be able to win that trade off. And uh, Fish find their um, find the first round of the map. Now looking at the economy, of course. Uh, that goes there. Wow, this is a Fish is here. able to uh, fully buy up now. Yes, this should do. After that save in the beginning. And uh, Valorando do have a little bit of a difficult situation. They'll be buying up on Sheriffs. Trying to make that work with some aggression in mid to start off with. Just the collective push here from Window. Perhaps they're just going to decide to go for a contact push here on B. As soon as they see an enemy, they might just go and push through. They're now, they have been spotted up through that spy camp. Oh, they do notice there are tripwires there, and that's going to cost the life of Brexco. Soulcast is there to collect. Triptix also from the other side will cause damage. Soulcast. Oh my word, they're just falling left and right. And there you have it. Fish are just collecting the pieces. Oh, the spike did manage to get planted there. Jet. Doing some work. Soulcast is the one to pick him up in the end. Lucker will go down. But it should be a good round here for uh, for Fish. Making things square 2-2-2. Two, two, two. But that's pretty much what Valorando wanted. They wanted uh, the spike plant. And that's exactly what they're going to get. Just build their economy a little bit more. Now a little bit of a head-to-head -head with a full bite. Let's see how this one turns out. I believe it's the first first head-to-head, -head really, of uh, of this map. So potentially uh, where things get interesting. Yeah, Link will spot out that cam straight out of the bat. He'll, get, he'll just shoot it away, straight away. Uh, pretty much a default place for Cypher. To put up his camp, but we'll get spotted out. No worries whatsoever. But it looks like they're leaning towards that A side. Long. They have uh, lurking on long though. And C long. A little bit of a peek went through and banana. Looks like they're going to try and transition towards mid now. Now look at that. Rotate's coming in. They might have found an opening through C short. They're going to try and go through Garage. And Breach Eclis isn't exactly in a position to hold them off there. So this could be an actual free entry towards C. This actually could be really good for them. Little do they know, there's literally no one there to stop them. They're just going to push through and they're not going to find anyone. The site is free for the taking. Now, Eccles will be holding from long, of course, but he's a little bit far behind. And to their surprise, that, that was a, a simple take here for Fish. For Valorando, excuse me. And already, Lucker with the first pick. 
And such a retake. It's just too hard to deal with. Just fi all five members of uh, Valorant are alive. And looks like they played around the map perfectly, actually. Found the weaknesses of uh, Fish, according to the info that had at hand. It could also be luck at that at such a point. But there you have it. Three, uh, three rifles saved on the hands of Fish. And it looks like it'll be a flawless round here from uh, Valorando. Oh, we could have a little bit of a head to head here and on that A site. It's Chris. We'll be able to pick up Link. And uh, yeah, just one, one kill. One rifle less to be saved for that next round. I don't think they'll be playing the same. They'll, I don't think they'll do the same mistake again this time. What they will do, though, is uh, stack a few people in mid. Ice Pepper Hounds will push up aggressively. Oh, ho, ho, what a sneaky peek there from Brixco. Picks him up right out of the bat. I have the spike. But Lucker finds a kill there onto the Soulcast through Garage, through the window there. Making things square, 4-4. Four to four. Round is not... <laughs> it has only just started and just uh, have a couple of pick picks coming out. Right here. Now it's Chris looking to Deploy gather some information here from Garage. We'll use his drone, his deployable drone. And that it looks like it will stun up his drone a little bit, that trap. But that's a, a good trap to interrupt. It looks like they might try and go for the C again. Spike drop. Sky smoke coming through in a window. Revealing area. And it's Chris will just try and push through it. Gather some more ground, more information. That dart didn't really reveal much, but it could be a push here. Whatever this stun comes out, and here comes the ultimate. Cryptics will shut him down straight away. Now the entry is stopped right in his tracks. Link will find a kill for himself, and Eclipse is just from a different front, from a different angle, finding kills, but Sim is now there to stop the push. While well, I say that, Link will find a kill of himself, but no, that's a massacre. And Rax will pick up that final one as he's the last man standing in that round. And there you have it. Valorando find the lead, 4-2. to two. Now, let me remind you, Valorando chose this map. They, they have confidence in this map. It is their map pick. Um, and it is interesting to see so far that their attack has been fairly solid. They've been finding the entries, they've been finding the kills uh, necessary to find openings onto different sites, and it's been working out for uh, working out for them so far. And it's rounds like these that you really need to get at the beginning of a round on uh, on Haven. Because it's such a wide map, really. An opening could mean that... A kill could mean a big opening onto a site. So you can't really afford to lose a man straight away. But Lucker is the one to find an opening there on Ice Pepper Hands. Making my statement valid. <laughs> oh my word, Brim. Orbital Strike comes through. We'll punish the res there. And just as you think you have... Uh, you managed to pull off a res, it just gets interrupted. Looks like it is going to be a push here from long. Rax is the one to lead the charge here. Three from short, two from banana. Approaching the 25 second mark. Smoke coming through on window, blocking the site. Cryptics, he finds the first frag. Making the push stop a little bit, but no, the site is well in their favor now. Spike goes down on 14 second mark. Looks like they have a lot of utility still to use to just fend off the uh, the defenders. Well, at this point, attackers, but 
from the defender side. Now Rez comes through, makes it even more difficult here for Link to push through together with his team. And that... Valorando seems to be dominant, but Link might actually go for it. He's going to go for the peak. We'll get picked up by Lucker. The second peak doesn't collect a frag, though. As, uh, he'll just swerve around the corner and survive throughout that. And uh, Valorando looking very strong, very promising stuff. Now I can see your comments, guys. Yes, uh, this is delayed. There is a hundred second delay on this uh, on this game, of course. And uh, thanks for the comment, money. Thanks for the comment, mate. I try my best. Just try and bring the action to you because this is actually great Valorant plays right here. Now it looks like they might try and go for a push here on long. Lucker is the one to lurk. Maybe they should change his name to Lurker because he's like, that's exactly what he's doing throughout this game. Just grabs the operator whenever he, whenever he has a chance and just lurks. Tries to find peaks wherever possible. Information game from Garage there. And everyone's dedicated towards Long there. It's Chris. He's the only person outside of Garage. The one lurking in that position. But... Eclipse is the first to find a frag. Oh my word, Rolling Thunder rolls away. That will roll a lot of people right there, but no kill comes through after that. It will just stop the push for the time being, and Lucker will be able to find Eclipse. He got a little bit too greedy in that situation now. Oh no, be careful, because Cryptix is there to find a kill. I was going to say, oh no, for that bomb, but it didn't really happen there, did it? Now Sim19 will find another kill. Kill comes through from Link and Soulcast now. Looks like they found the number... Finally, of Valorando, and there you have it. A, a success. A, wait, what? I got confused. I thought, I thought Fish managed to defend that one. I, I was too fast to react. No. <laughs> oh my word! It's Chris came up from behind and collected the last kill, and uh, turned it around. And Valorando, with a round lead here, four rounds in a row, in fact. Take flight. Thanks, guys. I appreciate for the comments. My name is XWarrior. You can find me at, at XWarrior underscore. I've uh, taken on through Ryan Central. He's uh, He's been doing most of the casting today. An absolute legend he is. And he's done a great job in uh, delivering the action so far. Oof, Ice Pepper Hands lurks yet again. Gets a kill. And gets a man advantage for his team, making the defense a little bit stronger. But they do like this garage play, don't they? They're just going to push through. Lucker is the one behind, watching everything as it happens. A peak could just happen at any second there. And just not waiting for it. But no information is gathered from the raids. They're just pushing through connector. Lucker is the one to find the kill there, covering the tracks of his team. And they've already found their way onto this site. <sighs> Eklis finds a kill, make things a little bit easier for the retake, but this is going to be a hard task. Already, Spike does not go down just yet. They're trying to find the right situation. Brykesko will find up Eklis there. But Ice Pepper Hands is still being a trouble for them. Link will find another kill. Link will find two. He's in a position to defend, and he will pick up the Spike Diffuse as well to get his res a little bit sooner. So finally, fish one, two, three, find a kill. One after the other, find the round, <laughs> find the round as well. But what I find interesting here is that this, there's a little bit of a stack towards C. Just that they they realize that. Um, Valorando are just fancying Garage round after round, and they're just uh, stacking around there, but never mind. That's a Sage going to be, uh, that's a Link going back to A. 
They're just uh, hanging up there in case of a rush. That's not going to happen. Already a push coming through mid. An aggressive man here. Breaks go looking a little bit um, in a reckless position. And uh, if he gets caught, there's not really anywhere he can fall back to. So he's just looking to punish any aggressiveness coming out here from Fish. And now it's a little bit stacked towards that A site. It's that jet that managed to fake that movement, and it looks like they might be able to find an open B site right there, right now. Cryptics does have his spy cam there. He will be able to gather the information, but he is missing out on vital information as three players are just stacked there, and he can't even see it. Look at that. No, there's no information. He'll finally get some info, but they're already onto site. It's already too late. Now, bomb will finally go down. Spike, no, it won't go down just yet, but the, the retake is bound to happen. They've left site completely. They're going to try and defend this from mid. It's a little bit of a tough ask here. Anything can happen. Of course, a wall could go through from Sage, and that's probably what they're going to try and do to try and get the defuse right now. But Sim19 is the one to find a kill. Here on the retake, Lucker finds another. They're just peeking mid, and there's nothing really they can do in this situation. It's already a four versus two. Breakscope finds a kill. Will Sim be able to find another one? No, it's Lucker to find the, one, the other one, and it's uh, a successful attack here. Interesting strategy, just uh, place a spike where they can see it from mid and get it done with. Tiny Gobby, welcome mate. Cheers. Thank you. This is uh, a ton of action for sure. And yes, of course, this does. This game doesn't really count Take them off. in uh, the standings of things. Uh, Fish 1, 2, 3, nonetheless, will go on in the first spot Revealing area. towards the quarterfinals. They, they've they been undefeated so far. While well, Valoranda has a little bit of a harder situation on their hand. They've lost uh, both of their games they've played so far. <laughs> oh, shot doesn't connect there from Sim. But it is going to be a mid-push now. And again, they might find it uninhabited. Smoke down. They won't find, be able to uh, pick off the spy gun. But the push will go through. And this time they might look to defend it even better. It's Chris pushed up a little bit aggressive. Will punish Link for being a little bit delirious to where their position is. And Rax will find exactly another kill to make things a little bit easier for them. It's the two versus four. Now it's Chris is just going to lurk behind, maybe potentially find Breach, but he's on site, he's all by himself, and there's not really much he can do. He can't defuse, there's two people in mid, finds one kill, but Sim is there to return the frag. And uh, Valorando looking very strong here on this attack. Very strong, in fact. I mean, it's fair to say that Fish don't really need to try hard, because at this point they've solidified their round, but Valorando are looking to uh, practice, they're looking to... Prove that they're not going to come out of this uh, best of three undefeated. Um, well, completely defeated. They just want to want to get a game under their name, and they're making it making it look good so far. Get out of my way! Smoke's down. Now, spread out play here from uh, the defenders. Fish one two three just electing to play a little bit more default this time. But as Heaven, it's pretty much an easy mid control here from the attackers to get on this map. Nowhere to run. We'll be able to gather that there right now. And then it's Chris. We'll be able to get a kill straight out of the bat with his ultimate. You will not kill my ally! For hellfire. 
Hellfire will come through. They're going to try and push to A. They might have read it, but the footsteps are there. Ice Pepper Hounds is the one to collect. One, you'll find two. Oh my word, this could be a disaster. It's a two for one trade. They are on side, but there's not many people from the attacking side left. Valorando need to rotate fast. Brimstone from a different angle. Brexco is the one to go for the flank, and he could catch two people off guard. No, doesn't find the kill. Link is the one there to collect the kill. Cryptics will throw his ultimate, but that won't really matter. Everyone is dead, and the spike defuse will come through. And that's how the defenders, aka Fish123, will pick up another round for themselves, making it 4-8. As they switch sides. Alright, seeing as um as how they're stacking towards A, it's safe to say that they'll probably go for a contact push. Onto A. What I, I'm surprised to see from the lineup of uh, Valorando is that uh, on their attack, they didn't really have a an agent that has a flashbang, and an engager. Neither a Breach or a Phoenix, which is uh, something you usually tend to see in teams, but it's a different case here for Fish123. They do have a Breach, but he's a little bit far behind. He'll probably try and flash his team in as they try and push a collective push towards Rom. Not really want to contest the Cypher, but Rax doing work, gets one, gets two, tries to go for third, but Lucka will fall back, Ice Pepper Hands will get a kill for himself, and oh, yeah, it looks like Fish123 will just uh, collect the pieces as the spike goes down, it's a two versus three. Revealing area. Link finds that first kill, now it's Chris. With Sova. Yeah, I won't find much info there. Ice Pepper Hands. Just underneath, we'll, uh, we'll shoot him up his crotch. A little bit unfortunate for him. That got to hurt. But it works out. Fish finding, uh, Fish 1, 2, 3 finding the first round of their attacking side. towards B. But it's going to be aggressive push towards mid. Just trying to gather room here. Ice pepper hands. He's, uh, he's looking greedy there. There's just uh, three defenders on that site. Oh, but manages to connect with the spray there onto Brexco. Just a, a few bullets and made it happen. Gets a second, and that should be an entry there. But there's just two people there. Two yeah. defenders waiting to get the kill. Lucker in a good position. A lucky position, in fact. Oh, he runs out of bullets. Link will pull out the pistol and gets a double <laughs> with the pistol. With his ghost. They make it happen in the end. A slower approach now. 
the notes most likely that Valorando have bought. Just going to fire through Garage. Perhaps finding opening there, but it is going to be pushed onto A, and it's just Sage. She'll wall manage to all off. Our uh, Jet will come through as well. Sim19 is the one to get that first frag. Sim19 with a double. Yep, it's like, no, attackers, you, you, you can't you can't enter B. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine for the taking. Braxco now with the rotate in garage will pick up another. And a tough ask here. For the attackers, as it is, a two versus five. Yeah, Sim 19. Finds one, Lucky finds the other one. Cryptix did manage to find the return, but there you have it. Fish one, two, three. Find a round for themselves. You gotta excuse me. This uh, overlay has uh, mixed me up a bit. Not gonna lie, the fact that it doesn't change the the colors, and the sides. Switches it. For some reason, I thought they updated that, but I guess I'm I guess I'm wrong, and I apologize for that. But I think it's fixed now, and it looks like it's going to be a push. And this time, through under. Through short. A little bit of a noise with their movement there, for sure. Sage must have heard that. A bit of an info gain there from Cypher. But they're gonna opt out of this one, really. Ice Pepper Hands will opt out of mid again. Maybe perhaps it was a fake opting out from long. And they'll just try and collectively push through short. Now Ice Pepper Hands will be leaving the charge from long as well. As I commence onto the site, this push will come through already. Rotate has come in. Cypher is from the side. Soulcast is the first to find a frag as Sim19 finds a return. Sim19 gets a second, but Soulcast is there to stop his kill spree. Rotates will come in from behind. It's just no, Jet in like heaven to defend the spike con. Three versus three. Revealing area. Not an impossible situation, but it's a double rotate from behind. Oh my word, yeah, you just get interrupted right there and then. Brexco will be able to find the return. But he you can't guess that it's just two people that rotated from the same position. You can't guess that. And Eclipse will be able to pick that one up as well and uh there you have it right there But now that I think of it, I'm pretty sure I was right. Eclipse is for, from Fish, so... It's a scoreline that's a little bit iffy at this point. The scoreline isn't switching together with the team, so already Braxco gets that first kick, Cryptix. We'll be able there to return the frag. We'll just push onto site. Sim is there to find one, Lucka is there to find another, but it is a two versus two. Ice Pepper Hands finds one more. Makes it a 2v2, but Sim19 is already there, we'll get flashed through, we'll look away, but... Doesn't manage to get his uh, crosshair on uh, Echolis fast enough. 
And what Riot really needs to fix about the spectator mode, not gonna lie, is um, the fact that they need to change the, the side of the score. Because right now, Valorando is ahead 9 to 8, but it's showing that uh, Fish 1 to 3 is ahead 1 uh, 9 to 8. A little bit weird, really. Because <laughs> they changed the colors around. They updated the colors changing around, but didn't change the, <laughs> the change of the rounds. But Eklas finds that first pick in mid. It is going to be a push with the pistols. Managed to find one. Make it a one-for-one one trade, and that's going to be a rifle picked up. Two-for-one trade, excuse me. Looks like it's going to be a free C push yet again. They're just the, the juking this game is absolutely weird. Fish one to three now on the attack. Push, plant, and there you have it. Rotates will come through, but they're just all all the other side of the map. Okay. Nice pep hands, finds one. And it's uh, Brexco on breach all by himself. All by myself. That's pretty much what he's saying right now, singing to himself, humming, left all around, all alone. Nine to nine, fish one two three managed to make things square. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit weird with the school. It hasn't changed around. Uh, I mean, nine to nine, really. Uh, theoretically, it looks fixed right now, but yeah, it won't look fixed depending on who wins the next round. Those angles. You guys are clever. You got this. You 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 can figure it out. Fish one to three are the attackers, and Valorando are the defenders. Just in case you're wondering, but it is going to be an attempt here for Fish to push through A. Just that. There. Just keep swimming. And that. Get that push through. There goes the rolling thunder. That's gonna hurt. Cryptics will get picked off. Link finds a return. And the rotates are there. Push comes through. Res comes through as well. And it's as if no one died here from uh, Fish. I know exactly where you are. Information coming in through as well. The rotates will get spotted out. And it's a tough ask here for Valorando to retake the site. No charges left. It's Chris. Just that. Revealing area. Must have caused a little bit more damage. They lose a round. They might as well get a kill for their troubles. And here we go. Fish. One, two, three. Find the lead. Right here. Down. A little bit of a 
mid control play here. Fish one, two, three, one. To establish the dominance towards that area. I'll try and push through here. Ice Pepper Hands has it's been vital in getting the first frags for hole. his team, but fire in the hole. Soulcast picks up Sim 19 straight out of the bat, but it's still. Brimstone in a position to defend. It's Chris. We'll throw down in the house. It's Soulcast as well. Rax, Breaker, find things, find kills. I know exactly. Where Perhaps this is the chance they need to get back on the site. Three versus three. Prepare for help. Orbital strike coming through. Link finds two. Oh my word! Just pushes aggressively. Orbital strike was just a, a confusion technique towards his teammates, and it works out there. Gets a double in the end, and. Fish one to three. Find a two round lead here for the first time. This map. And uh, this game, it seems like it's more of an attack side map. Which is probably why um, Valorant, um, Valorando decided to pick this. So to your question, the dreamer, fish right or left? Um, neither. They're both and neither. Uh, the score is different. Fish is leading eleven to nine, but they're the attackers. So, yeah, confusing. C confusing. I know it's a little bit of a glitch, but not really much you can do, is there? Push, comes through on Garage. Link from mid though. Rex go, falls down low, 10 HP to him, we'll get the heal. The push will come through, Rax will spot them out. We'll leave you there to defend in time. Eklis finds one. Nowhere to run. And here comes the Hunter's Fury, finds one. Cryptix falls down and Sokars falls to the hands of Rax. It looks like the push has stopped right in his tracks, so the spike hasn't... Hasn't been able to get planted, and Eklis will just pick up the, the pieces in the end. And it's uh, Fish123 now find themselves for a match point round. The moment you thought that uh, Valorando th might come up top, come up on top on this uh, on this map, doesn't look like it's the case. It's fish one two three are on match point. And this time they're going to look for a different tactic. Go towards long. Lucker finds that first pick, and will just instantly go towards heaven. But little do they know, the rest of the team is pushing towards C. It was a was a little bit of a tactic, misleading tactic. Tactic now. Rolling Thunder comes through. It's gotten rolling. It's gotten rolling Thunder so many times throughout this game, and Ice Pepper Hands finally finds the kill onto Brexco. All right, Eklis finds a kill of his own, and it looks like Spike will be able to, in the end, to go on C. No, they won't try and go for it just yet. Res comes through. Sim 19 is the one to make that happen. Lucker. Activates his ultimate, gets one, it's Chris, we'll find the second one, <laughs> courtesy of it's Chris. And Valorando, not ready to give up just yet, making it 12 to 10. Not ready to give up just yet. Valorando is looking to do is just that 
gather experience, gather uh, gather maps, gather confidence coming through because there's not really much of a chance. Safety well, zone. there's no chance actually for them going on into the into the brackets. Uh, that trade came through and both of them and managed to tag each other through the war. They both find heals from their friendly sages. Now they're going to push towards B. But little do they know, there's actually two people dedicated towards it. Lucky gets that opening frag. Flush comes through. Ice of hands. Finds one. Sim19 gets two for himself. And although Fish123 have found themselves onto the site. There we are, there are with a man's disadvantage. Make that a two man disadvantage as it's a three versus one. Now Link, difficult situation for him. One versus three, finds that one kill on Braxco. What can he do? Position is no, gets the second one. Oh, we need to get the third, but it's Chris gets the kill and makes things 12 to 11. They haven't had enough just yet. Oh my word. Oh my word, that was close. But it's Chris is there to clutch it up in the end. From a 3v1 to a 1v1, and the win there for its Chris. Valorando, 11 to 12. Now, Fish123 looking to change their tempo a little bit, not looking to go a little bit too aggressive. Well, we don't really know. They are stacking towards C long this time. It's a different situation here from uh, Valorando. Look at them. They're just going to push through mid, get information. They know that something has have to be has to be happening on the sides of the map. But Cypher does have information on A. That's vital information for the fact that they are on C. Or close to it, at least. Now Eccles getting caught out there from the spy camp. Get started out. They're forced to move away from long, see long at least, for the time being. Push. We'll go through. Flash comes out, flashes himself by accident. No, Hellfire comes through. Rax gets one. Brexco finds another, and it looks like the entry to the site is interrupted. And now it's a two to two trade. Make that a three. To make four to two trade as Brimstone is all by himself in this situation, and Fish one to three are very close to taking this map. Three to one. Ice Pepper Hands could catch him off guard, and he will. And there you have it. Fish one to three come out victorious here on the first map. The second map will be Fish's one to three pick, it will be played on split. So see you there. It was an excellent map, I must say, for myself. Excellent map. So see you there, everyone. Sarah.